hello. It's been a minute uh, since I put out one of these, so I this is uh, so welcome to my first captain's log. And yeah, I stuck with captain's log for now. If you have better ideas, let me know in the comments. My creativity is just not focused on alliteration at the moment. And unfortunately, because I still work in a windowless room in a building that I'm not allowed to have my phone in, there's not a lot I can show. I thought if I gave this video more time, something interesting might happen, but it hasn't. So I guess I'll be answering the obvious question now that I am Captain Taylor instead of Lieutenant Taylor. What's changed? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, most of this is just because I'm at work with just a bunch of other captains, and then I just sit in a classroom, do classroom work all day, and then go home. But even if I was in a different unit, there really wouldn't be any difference between the day before I pinned captain and then the day after. See, for officers, it's much more important than what your job is rather than your rank a lot of the time. There's a big difference between a captain that's like on a brigade staff and a captain that's in the company command position. More so your job dictates how people treat you rather than your rank, you kind of just use your rank to back up your position. You know, it's different than on the enlisted side because if I see a staff sergeant walking around, I can assume the level of responsibility that he has as an E6. It's generally uniform across the army. But for captains, there is a huge spectrum. It is a very large rank in the sense that you're gonna be a captain for a hot minute. There are captains now who are captains before I was even a lieutenant. So you have senior captains who are about to promote to major, who've had multiple deployments and two company commands and have done all this crazy stuff. And then you have people like me who are still in the career course and haven't done anything. It's confusing sometimes. Like, to put in perspective, I still call my instructor in this course, sir, even though he is also a captain. It's more so a sense of respect that he's very senior to me, even though we're the same rank. So what have I done in my short time as captain? Uh, the first bit was just a lot of TLPs, or the troop leading procedures, which just consisted of a lot of operations orders, or op orders as we call them. We were basically given eight hours to completely read and digest a battalion order and then synthesize our own company level plan based on that operations order and then given an hour to brief our entire plan. In short, basically, they gave us a big plan and then we had to take our little bit and then make a, a smaller plan off of that. And there's just a lot of complicated stuff that goes into it. And there's really not an equivalent in like the civilian world to that. So I don't know, like Google it more. I'm not good at explaining this. Now, eight hours might sound like a lot, but in reality, of the four that I wrote, I only finished the last two. Luckily, those are the ones that counted towards my grade, but it was an insane time crunch. And then the briefing standard of one hour, I only actually finished briefing my entire plan on my last final one. Everything else, I ran out of time, even though I was speaking insanely fast. It was basically like those debate kids you see like on YouTube who are speaking completely super fast, non-intelligibly. That's what me briefing my plan sounded like. Uh, I, I'd taken a couple few trips in my time as a captain. A couple to the beach where I bought too much alcohol. A trip to Asheville where I bought too many books. And another to Charlotte, but that was for work and we were just walking around where, you know, Mel Gibson from The Patriot did all of his battles, but like the real guy. And then like halfway during the tour, uh, some guy started filming us and following us around in a van and then like got out and was like filming us from like point blank range. I found him on Instagram. This is him, but he, he didn't seem interested to talk to me, which I mean, I understand. But I'm, I'm basically done with the career course at this point. I only have a couple weeks left, so the rest is pretty easy. I'm more focused on leaving now than I am what I'm actually supposed to be learning. Overall, the course has been pretty interesting. It's really just a standard captain's career course with some special operations stuff thrown in and sprinkled on top. Stuff like psychology classes and negotiation tactics and certain stuff that I'm not gonna talk about. And one interesting thing is that we just finished like this month long weekly meditation training, which might sound weird in like a military context, but if you think about it, it does make sense. I think the issue is that when you bring up things like mindfulness and meditation to soldiers, they all just immediately go to like the hippie woo woo stuff that kind of gets associated with that kind of thing. And not understanding like some of the benefits that come along with mindfulness and meditation and stuff like that. It's funny though, because the course was given by, to us by the University of Miami, so it's a bunch of civilians, but you can tell they really really tried to frame it so that military people would be on board for it. They're always saying that like mindfulness will actively help us in like a firefight or something like that. Things always go back 
like logical conclusion is always this will help you in a firefight but i do wish that like people in the military were just more open to things like mindfulness and like meditation and stuff I mean, I can't even tell you how much flack I got in my last unit just for going to weekly yoga classes. Ironically, if the military was maybe a bit more understanding of like meditation and yoga and anything that you could classify as hippy dippy, we'd probably have to deal less with substance abuse, depression, and toxic leadership. You know, all the things that actively take us away from the ability to perform our jobs. But what do I know? I'm just a pre-KD captain.